Hi everyone, it's Andrea and I'm here today with a unboxing because my friend George said he missed my unboxings. The reason I haven't been doing them is I've been too excited when the boxes have arrived and I've just opened them. However, this time I'm going to unbox it for you. It's a book and a brew. So I've already slit it open and as usual, full of packaging. So let's have a look at the pigs, the teas. Okay, this is interesting. So this is tea pigs, fab Japanese treat, popcorn tea. Okay, that's new. Let's open it up. I can't smell anything because I can smell nail polish because I've just polished, got some polish on my nails. Okay. So what's special about this tea? First from humble beginnings, Japanese peasants use miss green tea with toasted rice to make it go further. It's now celebrated in its own right as genomachia tree or popcorn tea. Sugar puffs in a cup. Use cold tea. One, um, one tea bag, boil three to five. Okay, so let's. I am going to go. Oh, smells nice actually. Oh, that smells nice. I am going to actually go and make a cup of tea. I will be back. but it says to brew for three to five minutes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it for a few minutes and then we'll come back and have a sip. So I've got to find somewhere to put it. Hang on, I'll put it behind me on the desk. So while we're waiting for that to do what it does let's have a look at the book. So as usual it's wrapped in its lovely paper get this open. It's a big one this month. Ooh. So this is called Wayfaring Stranger and it's by James Lee Burke. It's all blurbs on the back. So what's it about? Let's have a look at the front flap. Ooh, so it's historical. It's 1934 and the depression is bearing down when 16 years old Wilden Avery Holland happens upon Bonnie Parker and Clyde Barrow after one of their notorious armed robberies. A confrontation with the outlaws ends as Weldon puts a bullet through the rear window of Clyde's stolen automobile. Ten years later, Second Lieutenant Weldon Holland and his Sir Sergeant Herschel Pine not only survive the horrors of war in the Battle of the Bulge, but rescuing a beautiful young woman named Rosita Lowenstein from an extermination camp, they seem to have salvaged something good from the nightmare of the Holocaust. Returning home full of hope for the future, Weldon, now married to Rosita, and Herschel seek their fortunes in the booming oil business, but soon they discover that beneath its veneer of success and money, peacetime America harbours dark forces akin to the ones they left behind in the ruins of Nazi Germany. As the trio battle a terrifying conspiracy of corrupt oilmen, sleazy movie moguls and vicious anti-Semites, Weldon draws on his frontier justice embodied by his grandfather, Texas lawman Hackbury Holland and the untimed spirit of Bonnie and Clyde to try and save them. Ooh. So this, I've not heard of, but I've heard of James Lee Burke. God, he's written so many things. Um, came out originally in 2014. It's a bit of a chunky hardback. Uh, the recommended price is 19.99, as you know. Book and a brew is 12.99 a month, and you get some tea. So I've never tried this popcorn tea. It's probably been brewing. It smells like popcorn. I don't know if I'm going to like this. So bear with me because I haven't tried it before. I'm just going to dunk. So <laughs> this could go very badly wrong, peeps.
It's not unpleasant. No, it's not. It's quite nice, actually. It smells like popcorn. <laughs> it's not a very strong taste. It's quite mild. It's very nice, actually. Yes, yeah, definitely. I will drink that one. Some of them I get a bit, I'm a bit funny with, but yeah. So that was what's in, in this month's uh, book and a brew. Obviously, it's a bit late because the April Easter holidays. Um, and this came this morning. So that is James Lee Burke's Wayfaring Stranger, Wayfaring Stranger, and T Biggs Popcorn Tea. It's not bad. So I hope you've enjoyed this little unboxing for that I've done specially. Because um, like I said, normally I'm too excited by what's in the box to actually um, wait. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon if you've liked this video. Obviously give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share, like and of course subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye booktube!